Hello everyone. Welcome to another On a Budget series. So all the items that I'm going to be sharing with you today are going to be from Dollar Tree. Um, so the thought behind this is that typically when I go to Dollar Tree, I am going there for household items or for things that I know I can purchase there that I need that's a generic brand but is still able to perform as good as a name brand. So um, when I'm coming to you and I'm sharing these hauls from discount stores like Dollar Tree, it's so that if you have a local discount store near you, um, you may be able to go there around the same time and perhaps find the same items or similar items in stock and um, be able to benefit from the same type of discount. Um, so typically, I go to Dollar Tree to, to purchase household items. Um, sometimes I go there for snacks or might be just specialty items. They tend to have a lot of seasonal items as well. So those are usually around the times that I will frequent Dollar Tree. Um, so I just want to share some of the items that I was able to find today, and you know, talk about a little bit about what they have in stock now that you may be able to pick up. Um, and just show you how I utilize Dollar Tree to purchase discounted items. So, some of the items I'm going to show you start with are just household items. Um, so, for example, um, everything I'm showing you now is $1. Uh, so, I purchased these gloves here for dishwashing. Um, this is the Scrub Buddies brand and it comes with eight gloves in a pack so that's about four uses for one dollar so um two dollars in all for that so that's eight uses which is actually not bad for two dollars purchase um i have mostly here some household items and then i also had a really cool idea from uh both sam tanner who's a youtuber here um and also couponing girl who's a youtuber here um so uh, I was watching their videos and they also do uh, Dollar Tree haul videos. So Sam Sanders idea was to, um, he purchased a card there and that got me thinking that this year I plan to send out some Christmas cards. I have a couple people I want to send Christmas cards to. Um, my current boss, this is an, uh, at my new job, uh, my former boss at my old job, she just keeps the lines of communication open and um, also a mentor that I had interned with. Um, so I went there and I looked for those items that were able to find actually a pretty good cards. So they do have cards in stock now because as I said, they do seasonal things. So if you're looking for Christmas items, you can also find those in deals, um, which ties into the idea from Couponing Girl where she went to deals and was able to find a lot of stocking stuffers. Typically, when I'm at deals, I don't even pay attention to the toy owl, but watching that video made me um, take a look. And if you really, you know, look and pay attention to the uh, detail, then you can actually find some pretty cool uh, toy items in there for children. So I was able to pick up a couple of stocking stuffers for my nieces and my nephew. And those aren't items just to go along with their um, actual gifts. So they're actually really good finds for $1. Okay, so it's usually for a stocking stuffer item, I'd probably spend like four to seven dollars. So I was able to find a couple of stocking stuffers for a dollar. Um, this is my second round of going to deals for stocking stuffers. So um, some of the items aren't here. Um, actually, I could probably just go get them and share with you guys so that you can see all of them because I tried to previously put them in another video and I wasn't able to upload the video but I'm doing this one on my laptop so I'll definitely be able to upload this one so yeah I'll do that but let me start off with some household items and what I go there for typically so I usually go there for toiletry items um papers this is a box of Kleenex Excuse me if I call for, kind of seems like I'm struggling a bit. That's because I am. Um, I'm asthmatic and also allergic to dust mites. And the cats mostly stay here in the living room, so I've been kind of dealing with that. Today it's really bad for some reason, but there might be more um, pollen dust mites in the air. 
So this box of Kleenex, um, which is a name brand, obviously, get it at deals for $1. This comes with 85 in the box. They also have the Puffs brand, and you can also buy the Scotty's brand there. Um, the Puffs brand is decent. Um, I like the Kleenex brand and because of the size of the box that it comes in, typically the, the long rectangular box. Um, the Scotty's brand has more tissues in it, but I think that it tends to be a little bit um, weaker, the tissue. So I do prefer the Kleenex and for $1, that's actually a pretty good deal So for Kleenex tissues, being that it's a name brand. I also typically get my paper towels from deals. Um, this is the Bounty. I tend to stick to a name brand paper towels when I go to Dills because um, I don't like the absorption level of the other paper towels that they have in stock when they're not name brands. But you can always find Bounty um, name brand there and if you were to purchase this at a store it usually would cost maybe like two dollars or change for like one paper towel. So this is Bounty for just one dollar. All in all, my total for this haul was $33. And when you consider the items that I'm purchasing and the quantity of items, it's actually a really good deal. So I got two of the bounty. I will show you how many items for $33. This is the toilet paper. <coughs> this is the toilet paper brand that they usually have their the home store um they do have other brands there i've been able to find like angel soft and charmin when they don't this is the brand that i get um with a packet of four it's actually pretty decent uh um texture of tissue and the amount is I wouldn't, it's probably not going to last as long as like a roll of Scott's, but it's too ply, so it's a better texture. Um, and it does last for a decent amount of time. Um, so I, I've been purchasing this one and um, it's, it's a decent brand of toilet paper to get for $1 and you have four rolls. Like I said, this is just like an idea of some household items you can purchase there. Clorox, um, I use a lot of this stuff because I deal a lot with raw cat food. So I like to sanitize afterwards and this is a great sanitary um, item to have. So $1 for this, and this is typically more than a dollar at the grocery store. Um, probably one and change or two dollars. So you do save some money if you go to deals to purchase your Clorox. Um, they do have some detergents there sometimes too where you can kind of get the smaller like bottles that probably are around this size for a dollar as well. Like they had some gain there and unless I got some um, downy um, fabric softener there for a dollar as well. They typically tend to be in like smaller, smaller bottles like this. But um, for fabric softener, that's actually a pretty good um, deal because um, uh, there's a lot of uh, loads in that small bottle. So Okay, and this one I purchased for me, um, my hair. This is the VO5 Moisture Milks. And um, this is actually one of the conditioners that you can use, I believe, for the curly girl method. I purchased this once um, at the very, very beginning of my natural hair journey, say uh, like eight years ago. And um, I purchased it again because I want to try it as a, a cold wash um, conditioner. So it's the moisture milk spray is supposed to be safe for natural hair and it'll have enough surfactants in it to be able to actually clean my hair better than um, the more other moisturizing conditioners that I've been using so um, they always have VO5 moisture milks and stocks and deals um, where I am so um, I may come back to you guys in another video to kind of do a review on it 
something like natural hair in a budget. Okay, so I know these are not terribly healthy, but I got them anyway. I typically, I don't drink anything unless it's water or tea from like a tea bag. Um, very rarely do I purchase juice, and I say it like that because nowadays it's not juice you're purchasing, it's sugar. It's just, there's, things are concentrated or pasteurized. They boil all the nutrients out of it, so typically, typically it's just no nutrition left in there or they'll fortify it and add a vitamin to it but it's not a natural vitamin found in it so your body doesn't recognize it the same and so it's basically just junk even like orange juice I just stopped drinking that I don't purchase anything but um, I felt like having a tea that I don't have to boil in the morning and like I said this is not ter this is not actually really healthy but I got it anyways um, like a once in a I guess I had a craving for it because at the office, they stack the office with these Arizona iced teas. So I, sometimes I drink them. So now I was in the store and like, mm, get some Arizona iced tea. So, you know, if you like to drink them every once in a blue moon, um, they do have the Arizona iced tea. I got two of the raspberry. Um, this is the 42 ounce and, and they do have this brand at deals. Um, I've noticed they have the sweet tea they have the raspberry and they have the half and half with lemon, lemonade. Um, so, you know, if you're into that. The only reason I um, wouldn't drink these often is because it has high fructose corn syrup in this. So, that has been known to cause um, diabetes. Now, I don't know if it just causes like a really a natural sugar spike and causes trauma to the body that can result in diabetes or or if it's something where high fructose cancer causes you to ingest more than you normally would um, of sugar because it sends that uh, um, impulse to the brain so you keep ingesting and if that is what results in diabetes if it's the latter then obviously it's just a matter of self-control but I'd have to look more do more research into it but I just purchased this for now I'm gonna put them in my fridge and have a have me a cup of tea in the morning, like cold tea, um, when I don't feel like brewing it and then refrigerate, <coughs> refrigerating it. Just something quick, basically. Sometimes I'm running out the door. So. And one dollar for this size, uh, the 42 fluid ounce. Once in a while, I'm not gonna kill you. Okay, and speaking of unhealthy drinks, <laughs> I got these. This is a Swiss Miss um, hot cocoa. Um, you can actually fix this up pretty good, um, even if you're used to the more exotic um, hot cocoa drinks, which I like to have. Sometimes, you know, like the ones with different flavors in it might have like peppers in it or dark chocolate. But Swiss so mix, you can actually make mix it up pretty good if you make it with hot milk and then you add some fresh marshmallows on top or something like a peppermint stick, a little bit of cinnamon, you know. So one dollar for this box and it has six packs in it. Um, that's a pretty good deal. Because they tend to be more than a dollar at the grocery store. And we're coming into the weather of blankets and hot cocos and books by the fireplace. Okay. Um, and I just got this packet of tea lights and it comes with 16 for a dollar, which is a pretty decent deal. Um, and this is the Luminescence brand. Okay, so this was actually a pretty neat find. Pretty cool. Um, it could be a Christmas gift. Or a gift to sell for those who smoke. It is an ashtray. You can see it has the nooks there. Um, I got it. It's pretty cool. I love the way it looks like nice, like crystal. Um, 
the design almost reminds me of something like Waterford Crystal or something like that. So um, this was in stock there. And this is like um, an item that you wouldn't find every day at Dale. So um, I would say if you want to purchase this as a gift for someone or even just for yourself, um, I would go now to find it because um, this is the first time I've noticed this item in Dale. So these are just some items that I like to supply myself with at the office. This is a Jot brand of sticky notes. You get 250 in a packet. So I got two of these for, that's 500 for $2, which is really good. Um, I like to use these a lot at the office, basically. Um, it's a lot of dictations and I get a lot of um, assignment so it's really easy for me to just kind of jot it down on the sticky and then put the sticky on my desk or put the sticky on a file um, that, the, that the note is related to and that will help me keep track of everything I'm doing so this is a really good deal <clears throat> and I also have paper clips as well for a dollar this is also the job brand 250 paper clips um, for one dollar. Yes, I am the type of person. There is office supply, <coughs> office supplies there, but I like to have what I like at my desk. So I'll purchase my own and have it there. Anything that makes my life easier. And Dale's is a really good place to go for little things like that, and you get them at a discount, so you don't have to spend a lot of money. So. While I'm on office supplies, I also got these pins. I like to keep a couple of pins at my desk. I'm never in need of a pin. This is the Ink Clip Clicks Maximum Value Comfort Grip Easy Clip Retract. Eight ballpoint pins. Black ink. And it says it has a long lasting ink supply. So I'm going to try this one out. I usually get, um, it's called Bic pins there, but they didn't have any, so I got this one. So we'll try them out for a dollar. And it does have that little um fancy grip thing here, so it looks like a pretty good quality. Okay, I saw couponing girl get this, and it made me want to try it. Kind of reminds me of white chocolate like how you do the chocolate fat but with peppermint in it now it doesn't mention chocolate on there in the ingredients so we'll see how it tastes but she said it was good and i was like wow that sounds like a really cool holiday candy one dollar um so i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna trust her um taste buds because she recommended something else and i tried it and it was good <laughs> I like seeing that sometimes, like, you know, when you're in deals and you're like, I don't know if I want to get that, but you'll have another YouTuber who tries it and then you're like, okay, I was actually wondering about that. Now I'm definitely will get it. <coughs> they also have the candy canes out now. So I got this for a dollar. It comes with 30 mini candy canes and I got the mini ones because these are really good. You put them on the Christmas tree. Or you can, um, actually no, I wouldn't put these on the Christmas tree because they come in their own little individual wrappings. Um, but you can put them on um, Christmas cards. So that's what I purchased them for, um, to put them on Christmas cards. Um, definitely put them in your hot cocoa. And it has, it's a really good supply in there. So um, for $1, can't beat that deal. And I'll show you the Christmas cards I got. They kind of got a little beat up. Okay. The, 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 all the cards. All the cards are by American Greetings. This one 
is a Happy Holidays card. And uh, the front it says, you're so nice. Um, you're so nice. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no. Okay, I thought that was... <laughs> I thought that was an error. I was going to say, uh-oh, chromatic error on the deals discount card. No, it makes sense. It says, you're so nice to know. I guess I you guys really can't even see that. But it is so bright because this is like white snow and it's really, really bright. And then it has like white glitter in it. It's kind of hard for you to see like that. That's a little easier. And it has that really cute picture on there. So... And inside is like a lovely message. Um, you're a wonderful person. You're thoughtful and kind. You And you do countless nice things with others in mind. So this warm Christmas greeting that's meant just for you brings a wish for your happiness all seasons through. Which is a really nice card to give someone. I got two of those. Um, you do want to take the time to read the cards because some of them were pretty cheesy. I was like, nope, too cheesy. <laughs> I was in the card session for a while until I found the one I liked. If you're going to give a card, make it a nice card. Okay. One dollar each, the cards. Which is actually pretty good for a card. It costs you like, like three bucks or five bucks. This is another one I got. Uh, for someone for Hanukkah also by American Greetings and it's another one that kind of has some glitter on it I'm a fan of glitter on cards and snowflakes it says festival of lights and then inside it says may peace and happiness be with you at Hanukkah and always so that's another one I got pretty good for a dollar and then I'll put some candy canes in there and a nice little personalized message. Merry Christmas! <laughs> okay. And happy Hanukkah. All right. Okay, yeah. We're gonna move on now to the stocking stuffers. Okay, so for my nephews, I got these two little grow toys um, things basically when I'm buying stocking stuffers in there I'm looking at things that I would have liked to have as a young kid and I love stuff like this so grow toys you put it in there submerge the creature in a large container this is all like a bit of science so I like things like that I mean, I used to have stuff like this and like um, when you grow like seahorses and things like that or, you know, nice little scientific toys. So, Dills actually has a lot of those items. So, this one, you submerge your creature in a large container uh, full of room temperature water. Make sure there's enough room for your creature to grow. Over the next few days, your creature will grow to 600% of its original size. When removed from the water, your creature will shrink back to its original size and could be used again and again. So this is interesting because this don't this looks like a regular toy. It doesn't look like a sponge. So that'll be interesting for them to play with. Not sure. This is like an alligator and this one looks like a salamander maybe. And oh for me, I did get little Christmas decorations. This is um, a little nutcracker, a little wooden nutcracker. Actually, I love well, anything that looks vintage, so that's pretty good for one dollar. So I got two of them. Okay, and my niece likes Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I went and got 
they have this. This is a Nickelodeon brand, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, keychain. This is her favorite one, Leonardo. Oh, wait. I forgot to show something. For me, hair bands. Um, this is the Basic Solutions brand, and it comes with 15 in it. And they're the ouchless ones. So I love... I don't purchase these at Rite Aid or any pharmaceutical pharmacy anymore because they'll run you about four to five dollars and you can buy these at Dollar Tree for one dollar and they last just as long as the ones you buy at Rite Aid. So this is a big money saver. I also got the red um, Ninja Turtle. Uh, Raphael, I couldn't remember which one she liked, and I. By the time I text my sister, and by the time she texts me back, it was like two. One sister, I was asking, and she's like, "Oh, I think it's the orange one," and I'm thinking, "Oh, isn't it the red?" And then so I text my other sister, her mother, and then I had already bought. I said, "Let me just get both." So I bought orange and red, and I was walking out to the store, and then she texts me back, "It's blue." So I had to go back in the store and I was like, um, can I exchange the turtle? <laughs> so I exchanged the orange one for the blue one. And I said, what the hell, I'll just keep red. Cause you know what? I think I was mixing me up with her cause I used to like um, Raphael. So I'll keep the red uh, Ninja Turtle on my keychain. <laughs> Another stocking stuffer. This is for my nephew. This is uh, for good for ages three and up. It says create a sticker scene. Who doesn't love stickers when you're young? Even when you're older. And this is also for my other nephew. This is a barf slime ball. Squish it. Blast. Spit it out, then slurp it up. Barf slime. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna like this. So, here it says, uh, you pour the open packet onto a clean surface, squeeze a bowl, and place the mouth opening into the slime. Release pressure on the ball slowly to make it slurp up all the slime. And then the third step is to barf. When you squeeze the ball again, to barf it all out, use over and over. So again, a lot of cute little stocking stuffers to, to put on top of their um, present. So you can have fun with $1, ages four and up. I'm kind of almost tempted to play with that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Science kit. This is um, growing crystals. It is tinning up. Um, you grow beautiful crystals. So it includes a crystal chemical for one crystal. One crystal display pedestal. Two granite based rocks. One wooden spatula. And the instructions. This is one dollar. Also, turn ordinary rocks into glimmering crystal treasures. Observe how crystals grow from solution and how they acquire their symmetrical shapes and sparkling surfaces. Growing crystals is easy and fun to do. Dissolve the crystal growing chemicals in hot water. Place a base rock into the solution and within hours, crystals will start to form. Crystals grow approximately three to four centimeters. Instructions included in the package. So this would be nice for my niece, who's 10 years old. And this is 10 and up. 10 years old and she's already a little scientist. Um, she wants to dig up fossils, so she'll enjoy this. Okay, so I need to go get my other sucking stuffers that I got in the previous haul. Okay, so that was the end of the haul for $33. And if you think about it, it was a pretty good deal, you know, 
toiletries, tea, cleaning product, you know, office supplies, um, hot cocoa, stocking stuffers. Not bad for $33. And I'll show you now the other stocking stuffers. Again, all one dollar. I will start off with this item, which is for the itty bitty baby that my sister has, which is a little fuzzy friend's monkey that she can carry around for one dollar. Um, also have a yo-yo that glows in the dark. A pretty cool item when I was a kid. We're going we're gonna bring it back. <laughs> Have a harmonica toy. It is for an up. Ugh, this is so cool. Family feud strikeout card game. I actually a couple of times I purchased the family feud um subscription and Oh my god, I love doing that online. It's the best. It's so much fun. Um, so this is a card game version. Top six answers on the board. Name a fast food sandwich. Try to get the top answers before you get a strike and play volleys over to the opposing team. They get a strike. You gain control. Battle back and forth. So somebody completes the card or strikes out trying. It has. <clears throat> 47 serving cards, three red strike cards, three blue strike cards, and instructions. And this is ages 10 and up. And it requires three players, so this is pretty cool. Because she, she has siblings, so she can, uh, I'll give, I'm giving this one to my niece and she can play with them. Also for my niece, this is a Velvet Art. Um, this is a Lisa Frank edition um, art set. So you are, it comes with the markers and you create velvet art and pretty cool. Gives you an example right there of what it'll come out looking like. Lisa Frank was pretty cool when I was a kid. So one dollar. Stuck in suppers. And then I got Disney Junior brand, uh, Mickey and the Roadster Racers. So this comes with two posters for you to paint using these watercolors. And these are the two posters. So that's for my nephews. I got two of them. So they can each, everybody has a little kind of art set thing. That's always fun too, doing art. All right, so those are the other stocking stuffers. Like I said, you just gotta keep your eye out for the good toys, little name brands and just cool um, toys that have cool ideas behind them, basically. So that is my the end of my On a Budget Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and were able to get some ideas for some items that you might want to purchase on a budget. So until next time, guys, see you later.